you may only catch a glimpse of the sport every couple of years. But for avid fans of curling, this is a big moment. It's the second time Omaha is hosting the Olympic curling trials. At the end of this, uh, next weekend, we'll have uh, the, the men's and women's team selected to go to the Beijing Games. Executive Director of the Omaha Sports Commission, Joshua Todd, says there's new interest in the game after the U.S. men's team took home the gold against Sweden back in 2018. Now this year, he's hoping for an even bigger turnout at Baxter Arena. In uh, 2017, we actually set an attendance record for a USA curling event uh, with about 22,000 people um, over the eight days. Um, our goal this year was to break that record. Uh, we're on pace to do that, so uh, now we just need Omaha to show up the next nine days and do what they always do and support great live events. Some of the best athletes in the country and curling will be here on the ice throughout the week. This is a big deal for Omaha. We've become an amateur sports haven. Omaha City Councilman Pete Festerson will throw the first stone at the opening ceremony. His family has been into curling for many years. It's much harder than it looks. And he's not exaggerating. For some of us, a career in curling is just not in the cards. <laughs> it's difficult to get the motions down. These are Olympic uh, great athletes, world class athletes that are doing this. It's very difficult to be this precise all the time. And that's why the trials are always a sight to behold. Katherine Garcia, KETV News Watch 7.